Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to include a video in your Flutter application. Definitely there are several approaches or patterns that you could follow to add a video. Say if you want to add a list of videos you could use a list view a vertical list view and each of your item contains a video. Or if you would like to use a um, header section to add a video you could use it but today I'll be showing you how to add a video in the background in the full screen mode so to add this video I'm using a plugin called video player now to talk about this plugin uh, it's a very interesting simple and straightforward plugin so if you want to add a video just use it and you should be able to add a video inside your flutter application so I'll leave a link in the description for more details to talk about today's UI which I'm going to demonstrate and show you the implementation part I have chosen the login screen uh, where the login screen uh, is just not a simple static one here you have the video playing in the background full screen mode and in the foreground you have this login and the sign in button and um, the interesting part about this is you have a text which keeps changing for every few seconds so I'm going to show you all this in the emulator. So let's uh, move on to the emulator part. Well, here's the demo of the UI. You can see the background, the video is playing. You have the first text here, which is the welcome. And you have the login and the sign in button here. Now, after a few seconds, you could see the text changed to browse. So I think I've set it to 15 seconds. Now I've just used a sample video here and um, now after 15 seconds you will see the text changing to search so this is the simple um, basic way of adding a video uh, in your flutter application so this is a very simple approach and a very simple example now uh, if i have to talk about a couple of other ui um, i could think of uh, the page view or a splash screen Say for example you have a splash screen and you want the video to be playing continuously uh, in the background and um, at the same time when the user swipes the screen you want the text to change. So you can use this approach or you could use it in a page view. So I think there are these are the couple of um, useful UIs that I could think of adding a video in the background. If you come up with some different ideas, please do share it or leave a comment. I would be glad to know about it. So now let's start with the um, implementation part. Um, so let me clear up the template and we will uh, start with the implementation. All right, so here I have a very um, simple barebone Flutter project. So before I start with the implementation, there are a few things that you need to um, ensure that you have added in order to get your video playing. So first thing is um, get your plugin uh, details. So if you open the uh, link that I've provided in the description, so make sure that you get the details of the dependencies and the package. So get those details and also make sure that you read um, this details or instructions that they give you. So make sure that you have all these set. And then um, I've added all of these details in my pub spec file that's the video player and the asset so i've added the um the sample video uh, in my asset folder and i'm referencing it so i'm not using the network one i'm using uh, the local one so then moving on to my um, main file um, here first thing what i'm doing is i need to define few parameters um, I'll explain you as and when I implement it, why am I using these parameters? So let me quickly um, get those details. So the first one would be the video player controller so that I can control the player. And uh, then next I have a few details uh, that is a screen text or subtext because those are the details that I want uh, to be dynamically changing after every 15 seconds so this text I've just added it in a string variable so that I can reference it in the widget and then I've added a timer um, so that I could set a timer so use this timer class and a position um, then next I'm using a simple list one is for the um, 
header and another one is for the subtext so since i'm using uh, for the demo for the demonstration purpose i'm just using a simple um, for the demonstration purpose i'm using a simple static text you can definitely use different data here and um, all right so that's about the variables that i've used here then moving on to the um, init state this is where i'm going to initialize my player and uh, also add few controllers to it you will find these uh, details on the library so i'm going to use those details here all right so all i've done is i've uh, initialized the video player controller and i've added the asset with my demo sample file so i've just referenced it and assigned it to a controller now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say my controller dot play so since i want the video to play as soon as the page loads i'm using this on my init state then next i want the controller to be in the um, set looping true so that the video does not stop at the end of the track it keeps repeating it so i'm going to give a boolean value which is true basically i did not want the audio part and just the video so i have set the volume to zero so i'm giving a controller dot set volume zero and um, next is my timer now since i wanted a timer uh, to be uh, added so that for every 15 second it keeps periodically changing the text in this place you can definitely use different approaches so here what i'm going to do is in the duration i'm going to mention the um, second which is um, let me add that duration and i'm going to give seconds and let me give 15 and uh, in this i'm going to add a timer close this so here the logic comes so what do i want to do is i want the text um, of the main text and the subtext to change now before that i have to give a set state so let's define that okay so now what i'm going to do is you can find here my screen text so for that i'm going to assign it to my screen text list and for this i'm going to give the position parameter so initially it will show my uh, first position screen text list here and then after 15 seconds it's going to move on to my second one so next one is my screen subtext and i'm going to assign the different list here with the position parameter and then i'm just going to increment the position value so this is what my timer functionality is all about now we have defined the video player so the video plays the video is loaded it plays and for the every 15 seconds you have the text changing but now we have to build the widget so that you get the video displayed and the other content displayed so here i have a simple um, scaffold with the body i do not have a app bar in this because i'm using a um, video playing in the background which is occupying the full screen more so i didn't want an app bar in this case first thing what i'm going to do is since i want it to be in the background i'm going to use a stack widget so a stack fit expand i'm going to use so inside this you have a children array and inside this array i'm going to give a container now this is the container that actually holds or includes the uh, video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly add the child component to it which has the video player so let me grab the particular details of it uh, okay it should be inside the container okay all right there you go and this is an extra one okay so this is the container which holds the image so you have the child with the video player and you reference the controller yeah so here is the container which has the child and it checks if it is initialized and plays the video accordingly now that's your container part next what i'm going to do is all i need is 
a text so just adding a text over here and these buttons so I'm going to use a column widget so that I can just add it one below the other so so let's define a column widget let's define a column widget and now inside this I'm going to add all my details so the first one that I'm going to add is okay I think I need to specify a few details like the main axis alignment to the end because I wanted all the details uh, not covering up the video in fact I want them to be um, displayed in the bottom so I'll use the main axis alignment end property and then I'll use the children array and inside this I have the individual components so first thing is the um, main text so it's got some padding to the left and right and then this is the container and the text is your screen text so it's the same text that we had uh, defined in our timer which picks up the first screen text so similar way we will define the subtext also so we have another container below it so this is my first container and uh, moving on to my second container well this is the one and here instead of screen text it's going to be screen subtext now after this I want to add some spacing so I'm just going to use sized box uh, with a height parameter of 20 yeah I think that's the one that I have used okay so this gives some spacing between your text and your button now for the button I have used a simple raised button with a circular border and um, stretching to the entire screen width so I'll show you a sample of the first button so if you look here this is the first button where it's a container and the width is the entire screen width then the raised button with a rounded rectangular border so the child is a text with a login and on press I have not added anything definitely you can use navigator routes and try to navigate to another screen or you could actually display another um, widget on the same screen background video is still being played and allowing the user to log in definitely you could do that also so this is one button and uh, the next button is similar but just the color and the text changes so I'll quickly add the other button as well so this is your second button okay I think I have added it inside container okay it gets here okay there you go so this is your second button it's also a similar raised button with same properties only difference is the text and the color that's different so when you build this you will definitely get a UI where the video is playing in the background um, it's looping over the video with a volume zero and uh, the text keeps changing for every 15 seconds and you have this login and sign in so let me quickly build this and I'll show you how it looks so there you go the video has started and uh, you can see that the first text appears here uh, with the button and now after 15 seconds you will see the text changing to browse there you go so the text has changed and uh, now after 15 seconds you will see the uh, search text appearing so this is one basic approach of adding your background uh, adding a video in your background uh, in a full screen mode and having few text or buttons or images or widgets appearing in the foreground so hope you like this video if you do like it um, give it a like and do subscribe and if you find this informative please do share it thank you